Yo, 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 what's going on everybody? Hello for a little Monday night stream action. Man, we guys are doing well, man. Three minutes to go here, so some shout outs are in order. Uh, first off, actually, uh, Mr. Austin Redfern uh, came in a little bit earlier and uh, resubscribed with the uh, cruise controls. Thank you, Austin. Appreciate it, buddy. Uh, as always, Le Machine, what's up, man? Old timer trip. You can see, man, Mike Diaf, what's up? Tony. Hello, Lucy. What's up, man? TB Edible. What's going on, guys? Trip, Jamie. Good to see you guys. Hey, Zeus. What's up, man? That's all right, man. We'll have another one. <laughs> we'll have another one, man. What's up, man? Big G Zell. Good to see you there. Thunderwolf MHP Hollage. Hello. We are good, man. Cooper, what's up, there, Mike? Patrick D. Deboom. What's up, man? Who's him? Uh, Mr. Hadenwendorf. What's up, man? Country, what's up? What's an ID? Richard. Good to see you guys. King Bill. Speedy's Game Zone. Hello, Smokestack. Rebecca D. What's up? Nathaniel Rosario, what's up, man? JV, hello, Chronic. What's up, man? 2802, what's going on? How are you, buddy? Uh, Will, what's up, man? I thought I saw Z in there a little bit earlier. It's good to have Z with us. Always good to have these guys coming in, man. AJ, what's up, man? Pog, Frank, Cuffs. Good to see you. I'm missing a guy. A couple of guys here. Jerry White Bear, what's up, man? It was Alito Merck. Uh, good to see you there. George as well. Jerry. Uh, Vladdy, what's up? Gavlin, what's up? Scott, good to see you guys. B9, Xavier. Hello, 63 Big Vic, what's up, Jamie, what's up, Jamie, Cobra, what, Colby, Cobra, Cobra, what's up, man, Carlos in the house, Trace, what's up, Danny, good to see you guys, Mike, what's up, man, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you're funny, Mike, you're fight, man, the Bummins, the Bummins in 14, I kind of like that little jingle jangle, it's all right, it's a, nope, not that one. No, nope, not that one. I'm not sure if I'm feeling the banjo today. What's up, dirt bike? Hello, show us a, a random McDonald's big <laughs> Uh I might get copyright struck on that. I'm not sure. Depends on how uh yeah. You know, anti doping. We don't want to see you in there. Anti no anti doping here, man, Route 66. Not <laughs> worry, man. Flaggo, what's up? Thank you there, dirt bike. Appreciate the two bucks. <laughs> I ran dumb McDonald's Big Mac. Is that Donald's Big Mac or? Can't remember there. Chicks, what's up, man? Grandpa Peter, that's right, man. <laughs> we are in uh, the Roland 39, uh, Peter. So yeah, we'll talk about our mods we got going on today as well. AJ King, what's up, man? It's good to have you guys, man. West, what's up? Austin Taylor, uh, making a comeback. He's kind of always been there. He's just uh, been preoccupied with a lot of other things IRL. And that's what happens with uh, with, with free guys. So more on that in here in just a minute. Curious weekend. What's up, man? Wonder. Good to see you. Uh, White Bear. Hello. Sinister. What's up, man? Sorry about that, man. I missed you, missed you up there. Derek. What's up? Miss up at the grain trailer. Oh, yeah. You like the grain trailer? Yeah, man. It's legit, dude. It's legit, man. I'm glad you like it, man. I'm always glad when you guys like mods that I showcase because I'm always a little bit nervous sometimes, you know, do things in the like, yeah, I really didn't like it, man. I wish I hadn't wasted the money. Although, like, only a few people have said that. And I think they're just salty. Those are computers actually couldn't run it. They're actually uh, a little bit on the slack on the performance end, which is not necessarily uh, a fault of theirs. But thank goodness that's about the only things that I've ever ran into. So at least we got that going for us. Let me see if I can turn that alert box down. I feel like it's loud. Maybe it's just for me. I don't know. It's screaming pretty good on my end. All right. Anyway, what's up, CJ? Good to see you, man. Uh, still a cat guy? Yes, I am still a cat guy. I, I, you know, I actually, I like anything that sounds good. I am a, kind of an audio freak when it comes to just listening to stuff. I'm, I'm in view, uh, involved with music uh, as a job, so I like it when things sound good. And are, so really, there's a certain point at which I really don't care as long as it sounds good. So anyway, I'm not going to waste too much more time. We're going to talk about our mods. I'll talk about when and where you can get some of this stuff, how you can support all these other kind of good things here, and then we're going to get started. We're going to pull. Uh, we're going to go up the Million Dollar Highway, which I thought was great for some pulling serious RPM action and also some Jake breakage. So, yeah, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Alrighty, had to go back to our there it is our just chatting screen so what's up see we can see you guys we'll let our uh we'll let our will recalibrate i almost like, turn this thing off now i don't even really even start it on so 
um, until it's uh, later on. What's up, Derek, man? Thank you, man. You got the AF, you got the FTG on RIU, man. Nice, dude. Appreciate that, Derek. Thank you, guys. Uh, let me go ahead. Uh, I did. I actually forget to do this one part. I was actually using my other shit for. So let me, uh, let me set up. Yeah, we've got to set up our shifter real quick. Quick, 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 quick. There we go. All right, sweet. I think we're going. What's up, CJ? It's good, man. Andrew EM, hello. Uh, good to see you guys. All right, so here's what we got today. Uh, we've got a few things on the docket um, that I want to kind of really quickly just talk through. And this is mainly for some other people, too, that may come in tomorrow that may see this. I am going to put out another video tomorrow just kind of showcasing the sound without a lot of commentary. Um, just as a... Uh, you know, one of those kind of hot, quick, hot minute videos type deals. Uh, so I'm going to throw that in tomorrow morning. Uh, today's going to be obviously a little bit. We're going to actually stretch this thing out. You guys will get to hear all facets of this. Uh, facets of this. So we're actually going to be using Zmods uh, coming in 14. It's a brand new one. Uh, I wanted to kind of start off the stream here, talk a little bit about what he's done. So Zmods has done some really good things. 3406, we've got the Detroit 60 series from him. He's done a few other things, but he's really, really, really good um at f mod and there's really only three guys that i would say are your go-tos that's creech um that's robin Icus, and that's uh z mods those three guys by themselves um have uh, probably done more for the ats sound community uh as creating and utilizing the f mod series for some really legit sound mods um we typically uh you know we typically at some point get get really good mods here and there um, but at some point they really die off very fast or they're just not like updated fast enough or there's something about them that they kind of die off, especially when they're accessory mod trucks stay around for a while. Trailers stay around for a while as long as the guys are around to, um, to continue to delegate those updates to the mods. So Z mods actually been around since F mod came out. Um, and so he's still kicking and got a brand new one here with the N14. Now this one is actually recorded. Um, I will say that as we get into this, you'll hear some things that you probably don't hear. So there's over 70 files, sound files associated with this with turbo spools on the Jake break, which you guys are familiar with from the 3406. If you cared anything about listening to those, uh, he's also got a lot of other things, a lot of air intake sounds. The outside sounds on this are absolutely impeccable. There's really nothing on this that I hear that says, Hey, I'm just kind of repackaged from a few other people's mods. And then I added like a Jake break. That's really kind of cool and loud, but it's not really realistic. This one actually is realistic. So if you search any kind of N14 custom slide, you know, custom uh, style motor uh, sounds on YouTube, this is exactly the kind of feel and the kind of sound that you get from a straight up custom Peterbilt with the N14 custom model, which is why it's one of the most popular engines for a lot of the custom stuff that's out there. So, um, so it is really, really good. So that's first thing that we're going to really be showcasing. Second, before you start asking, we are in the Roland 3D9 because it does work with this truck. And I have not driven this truck in a long time. And I was like, you know what? I want to drive it tonight because it just feels right to drive it with this. But this sound mod will be compatible with all kinds of free stuff, as well as John Rudas, all three of his, all the default trucks, including Lone Stars and all the rest of it. Plus, it'll be available for the GTM 3 Series, the 800-900B, and also whatever the other one of theirs it is. I forgot. Uh, 900B, the 800, and yeah, whatever that other sly little mod was. Oh, the 567. So anyway, there's quite a few things, like the 100D. I think it'll work on that. So he is uh he's doing some some really cool stuff with this so but we are in the rolling 3d9 mod tonight if you're willing and want to check out any of this stuff i don't really want to make a discussion on the 3d9 mod today uh, but I've got the preview videos. This is the $105 truck that everyone uh, either loves or hates because of that. Um, but it is legit. You'll see it. Enjoy it for what it is, even if you don't want to buy it. It's totally okay. I just don't care to hear about it. All right. Um, so it's just what it is. It's an awesome truck with awesome sounds, and it just feels like it completes the whole package. So anyway, that's what we got on the dock today. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's start up, and uh, let's see what's going. So anyway. It is good to see everybody. Let me get over to where our FTG shift cam. I'm just kidding. Let me let me back up off that shift cam a little bit. There we go. All right. So uh, JBX, by the way, for those guys looking for uh, graphics mods, JBX, search it for the forums, all that other stuff. Oh, and by the way, if you guys, by the time you get this tomorrow, feel ever so inclined to support Z Mods and his endeavors, I tell you guys. Go do it. Go support some of these guys because it's the reason that those things can stay free. And it's also the reason those things get updated is because you guys kind of help take care of them, at least along the way when you can. 
whether it's enough for a cup of coffee to stay up late for a mod session or whether or not it's 20 bucks, 30 bucks, whatever. And I had just donated just a minute ago just to put my mouth where my, wait a minute, put my mouth, no, 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 put the money where the mouth is. So uh, I've already done that. So uh, you're welcome, Z. Thank you, man. Appreciate the work you do uh, for the community. And uh, I'm always willing to help support those uh, that do the thing, man. So it's good. So, all right, I'm back with you, chat. So it's good to see you guys. Uh, and, uh, let's see what do you guys will actually, you know what? Let's, let's listen to it from the interiors. I think we'll listen to it from the interiors. I think we'll do that first. Yeah. No, it sounds pretty good, right? <laughs> and now we'll just so the run is rolled up, and then I'll take you to the outside because that's where the that's where the real magic is. I need to oil this pedal too. My I'm pushing my pedal so fast it's squeaking. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go outside. Yeah, all right, I'm not going to say much right here, all right? Hang on. Eight inch, Scott. You don't know nothing about that eight inches, buddy. Woo! <laughs> oh, I know, country. I called it before you said it. I called it before you said it. <laughs> oh man i just went through all of that man <laughs> i just went through all of that all right let's uh yeah it'll work on all the defaults man all right hang on i'm gonna show you a low gear jake how about that now i'm telling you it's probably gonna be a little loud i may have to adjust my sound settings but let's just see what it does all right y'all ready <laughs> yeah. Oh man. All right. I'm just waiting for chat to catch up on me on that one. <laughs> Everybody just went. Oh my god. All right. All right. Here we go. All right, so uh, we'll see if I can actually get out of here. <laughs> uh, oops, we just damaged our, uh, eh, eh. All right. Yep, yep, there we go. All right. Uh, hey, Zeus, so this is a pre-release, so that means it's not quite released yet. It'll go out tomorrow. So, uh, so Z was ever so kind to to grab uh, to let us have this uh, here for the um, for today's stream. So thanks to him for that. Uh, so it'll be available tomorrow. I'll update links here, and I'll also update links on the new video that I'm gonna have uh, for uh, for tomorrow morning. All right. So <laughs> yeah, man, tire. All right. So I'm gonna just do a little bit. I'm gonna do. Uh, yeah, Rich. We actually we already went through a. We actually went through a couple of towels. It's okay. All right, so we'll uh, so I'll tell you what I'll do. Let's let's just I'm gonna drive a little bit here, just with the window up. I'll keep up with chat. Um, if uh, if nobody you know is saying anything a question wise that I I can answer, um, I'll do my best to. But I'll, I'll just drive just for a little bit. Uh, a little ASMR eight inch loud pipe saves lifestyle. Okay. All right. <clears throat> If you have questions, just please refrain. After the roundabout, take the second exit. After the roundabout. Use the left lane.
Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, so this is really recorded off of one. That's the kind of the cool thing about this is that it's not really just your, you know, it, it's not really just your, your average, like, sound mod. It's kind of like from the engine style, but a totally different engine, like 20 years old, and it doesn't really fit in the engines, you know, that you're hearing it in. Um, the, the cool thing about this is that it's actually from an N14, from an actual custom truck with eight inch straight pipes. So you're, you can hear it just like pointing a few things out. Obviously you can hear the turbo and the whooshing sound, but you can really hear it when you get into it, like half, half throttle depress. Like you can really hear the engine really, you know, expand out. You can hear it say blah, 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 as you're going louder, which is nice, man. Okay, don't have to worry about that one then. Continue straight. What 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 uh How much are we talking with this engine back? What you mean Miller? Free baby? Free? Baby? Can y'all believe that I actually do a free review? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. I'm gonna get to the outside here pretty soon. I actually probably need to make this daytime. Continue straight. All right. Let's get let's get to the outside. Now this is one of the coolest thing. You know we we typically um yeah no Miller. The typically what we always have um I might actually have to lower the engine sounds. If I do, let me know. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty nice, huh? <laughs> pretty nice. I was waiting to say, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Watch these guys pop out in front of me. Yeah, let me know if I need to turn it down some. Uh, so, uh, no, I have not yet the asphalt, but it will work. Uh, so it'll work on Texas because they use the default W900 naming style. Uh, so anything that works sound mod for them will also work for that truck. It works for all John Rudas, um, and so uh, it'll work for all John Rudas trucks. It'll work for the GTM trucks and a lot of other stuff. It will be out tomorrow. All right. It works for the Highway Killer, for the 389, and also the, whatever the other one was, the Killer the Freightliner Classic. Turn it up, not down. <laughs> Fair enough, Ben. Fair enough, man. It's legit, man. It's legit. So. Yes, it'll be on the Steam Workshop as well, man. Oh yeah, someone can uh, someone can go ahead and do that. Someone can OK and show that for Zmod. The first listen. <laughs> the first listen. Uh, Pingas. Hmm. No, but. Uh, if he had the definition files for it, he can make it compatible with Pingus. So there's other two ones as well from Zmods as well. So you've got, um, so you've got the, uh, wait a minute. Oh, we're going down, aren't we? We're we going south. Hang on a minute. Oh yeah, we're going south. I thought we were going north. Oh good. There'll be some good, uh, there'll be some good, uh, Jake breakage action here. Continue straight. Nah. 
gonna say, hang on just a minute. Uh... Alright, now we're good, man. <laughs> yeah, smokestack. Yeah, man. Oh, thank you there, uh, Oz Dave. Yeah, man. Or OZ Dave. Yeah. Yeah, it's good, man. You'll, you'll have to eventually get his other stuff, man. It's good. Uh, MC, you can find the link uh, in the description. Um, so, so the truck that I'm driving is actually, um, it's uh, one that you buy on Facebook from the guy personally. Um, it's rather expensive. It is 105. A lot of people don't really even discuss the price because this is like an enthusiast truck. Um, if you like this and you know this is like your jam and you don't ever drive anything with 389, this might be the truck for you. But I don't get to drive it enough in streams, so it's such a beautiful truck and it's so well done. Um, you know, I just thought, heck, man, I've, I also have the custom trailer to go with it. Uh, that we need to take the take the tag axle down, but you know whatever. <clears throat> Nobody was paying attention to that, right? Everybody's paid attention on uh, the sounds, right? <clears throat> so, but anyway, I've got some uh, I've got some some uh, some links in there for the I guess his first kind of you know release video. If you want to see some more info on it, plus again his Facebook profile, you want to check that. So, uh, so most of the trucks AJ usually are between twenty and thirty, um, and that's pretty much what all of them are. And I do have Z's, uh, also do have his PayPal in there. So if you guys, well, try to start doing that a little bit more. Some of these guys that we work with, um, especially when it's like free mods that are just awesome. Um, I'm going to try my best to start adding some of those uh, into the mix so you guys can uh, have the choice to operate, the choice to, uh, you know, buy them, a, you know, buy them a cup of coffee or, you know, put 10 bucks in their pocket or something like that. You know what I mean? What's up, Timbo? Hey, what's up, Predator? How are you, man? Is like one of the best things to use. Um, I don't know. Zmods might be able to tell you there. Uh, I think Andrew, this one I'm running 525, so I really get the pull power with it, but it's not too strong that it's like, you know. Sometimes I feel like some of the engines are just like way too strong. You know, like you don't have to work, shift gears, do anything. You know what I mean? Yes, cuffs. That's it. The heavy hauler. Cash out, yeah, yeah. I guess that or like Venmo, but I don't know. Venmo is kind of like personal and weird. It's, it's like for foreign, you know, people that you don't know. <laughs> so we're actually going to go down the uh, main dollar highway. Just coming to town, everybody don't mind us. Use the right <laughs> <way>. Continue straight. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Continue straight. Use the right lane. Then. Uh, yeah, that's no, that's not STG, man. Uh, this is another one of my buddies uh, here in the community he made that for me, and it's not a, it's a, it's full billet, so. Just the shifter by itself costs more than most of STG's uh, shifters, uh, totally. And I didn't really want to go with like the, the 
kind of the plastochrome or kind of like the cheaper material on it so it actually required a little bit of machining um, and which I knew I wasn't going to ask SGG to do um, and for the price it just it just wasn't for me it just wasn't not what I wanted I wanted something that not everyone else had not that it's not good enough but just I wanted something that was a little different and it just kind of the way the conversation happened it just kind of like just kind of materialized like out of nowhere so so anyway I was, I was kind of lucky to be able to find that and um, and figure out somebody else who did some really cool stuff so it's got a custom uh, extension already built into it all the cords are all hidden uh, nice and, uh, and pretty and neat in there and they all come out on the bottom it's, it's really it's really slick man um, whenever I do finally um, whenever I do finally do the setup with the new PC and the monitors uh, then I will uh, then I'll, I'll go through my shifter setup I'll go through this I'll kind of just talk a little bit about everything if you guys want to see any of my shifter I mean any of my um, any of my other stuff like I've got all of my other different things there in the uh, in the description so Uh, it, yeah, it is, Andrew. It's uh, anything Chrome is, man. <laughs> what's up, Jazz Meyer? Doing good. Ryan, what's up, man? Hey, thank Zmod, man. Thanks, Zmod. He's, he's the uh, he's the mastermind behind it. It's, uh, it's good work, man. All right, we get on the outside here. We go down the next tunnel. I'll, I'll Jake break in. I totally forgot to do that. Thank you there, Brian King. Appreciate the five dollars, Jim Jam man. Brian coming in clutch as always. Uh, what truck's engine? Pineapple Charlotte. Well, it works on just about everything, honestly. Everything that's free and widely available. John Rudas uh, works on his. It works on the Roland 3D9. Um, there's quite a few that. Uh, uh, all of the GTM trucks, it'll work on those. All of the default trucks, so if you've got your own kind of custom W900s or anything like that, like custom chassis that anybody's done for you or whatnot, uh, it'll work on all of those standard uh, standard vehicles as well. So it's going to be free. It's on the Steam Work. Going to be on the Steam Workshop tomorrow, um, and it'll be um, it'll be it'll be just there, like the 3406. If anybody's read that, uh, had to have uh, put that under their hood, or the Detroit 60 series. Uh, that as well from Zmods and so any of those trucks plus this one kind of just put this in there and stack them all three together and those trucks will show through on all the official ones about the only one that I think probably that I have that this one doesn't work with at least out of the box is Pingas and it's probably he just needs the definition files to be able to to be able to make that work so he has the naming uh, has the naming conventions for them for the truck so let me know uh, let me know Zmod if you need that man um, if, if, if you could, if you want to put a couple on there, maybe some other ones you may not have, just let me know and I'll see what I can get for you. Uh, JBX, no. They used to have a free version feel, but they've, they've uh, since just gone strictly payware on theirs. So, what's up, boy? How are you, man? <laughs> Please go back to it. Yeah, go back to it. Yeah, I know, man. It's legit. It is legit. Well, to be fair, uh, you know, Pingas, Pingas 3D9 is also $25. This one is 105 So, you know, to be fair, there's, there, you are, you know, you are getting something for the 105 It's not just a complete waste of money, you know what I'm saying? Um, but, um, but, but as with anything, you know, um, I think for the money that Pinga charges, I think Pinga's got one of the best Peterbilts around. Um, and I don't necessarily say it's better than John Ruta's. It's just different, you know. But from the full customizations, you know, setup and stuff, like, he has got a really, really great truck for 25 bucks. And it's like I said, man, this was definitely more of, like, your enthusiast truck. So, like, 389, man, if that's your jam, this might be the only truck you ever buy. You know what I mean? And your bike, Gabriel, come out tomorrow, buddy. We'll come out tomorrow. Let's put this thing under a little bit of... Really hear it about 16, 1700 RPM. That's where you really hear that engine just putting out some serious, serious moolah. I'm gonna cut.
come down the other side so we can jake break down the whole thing. <laughs> yep, it's always Gramps Peter, ain't it, Cecil? Oh, man. The guys in my Discord are probably shaking their head now going, oh, my God. Gramps Peter, man. <laughs> yes, man. Yeah, man. Yep, I agree there. Yeah, Mod Monster, just sit, hit me up a DM, uh, and I'll help you the best I can, get you, at least get you started. Well, I put it in, to be fair, Trip, I, I, I did put that in the, uh, I did put that in the, the title. And this is a first look pre-release, so... Hey, Timbo, you guys still in there, man? I know, I know, I know, man. I know. Well, uh, the same way with the beacons, like all of those bottom ones there, all turn on, dude. I love that. Like, that's my favorite thing. So cool, man. <laughs> yes, we're on the million dollar highway. We're doing the climb right now, man. Hey, what do you think of the stream quality? Uh, I'm actually doing everything on the 1080 Ti tempo. I'm not, I'm not pushing anything to that 1060 on the side. Man. I mean, it's like when you're behind the truck. Do you, you know... If it's a truck, wasn't a, if it wasn't a hundred dollars, the predators like, oh my god, stop it with the hundred dollars. By the way, uh, if you guys see Predator Operator in here, he is the creator of the Rolling 3D9. So uh, I wanted to give him a proper shout out as well. He's probably like, yeah, man, got 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 company over tonight. You know, just trying to chill. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say it's. A, is it really blotchy? That's interesting because. Uh, it looks good on mine. That's uh, that's sad that YouTube's still doing that, man. That's sad, that's sad, man. Cause I, I mean, I'm I'm looking at I'm actually looking at an impeccable street, man. Thank you, man. Thank you there, Derek, as well, man. Thank you there for another five. Uh, Matt, you talking about? Uh, I don't know. I mean, he he might would accept. This is the private group that comes through. It's done through Facebook. It's just a lot easier, to, I think, to keep up with everybody's name. But uh, there may be a service email. I'm just not sure. If there is Predator, you can, you know, drop, drop it in there. It's fine. See, that's so crazy, man. Because uh, I, can't, I can't do any more for you, man. It sucks. Because I'm, I'm, I'm sending out a really, really good stream, man. So frustrated, man. The N14 is free. Yes, it is. Uh, JBX there, J Swindle. Yeah, the 352. Yeah, is that the one that just came out, or is that the three? No, it's not a 359. Is that the cab over there? Is that that one that just came out? That looks great to you guys. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm just curious because we've been I've been kind of playing around with. Good Lord. All right. Now we get to go downhill. So enjoy. Yeah, Jesus. Frosty! Uh, what buttons do you have on the button box? Think about what we some. So I have the default set from ASP button haulers, the heavy hauler button box. I have the default set. I didn't change anything. <laughs> Almost too much.
Man, you guys are y'all are hilarious, man. Y'all are y'all are hilarious. About to get a sign there. It's got a really nice like. It's got a really nice like depth on the outside. Like it's it's almost like you can spear it snapping back at you on the uh, back of the trees. Yeah, the inside's a little bit more muffled, a little bit more that base is taken away. Oh, come on, do a proper pass by ATS. Here we go. Cut that a little close there. Got an FTG merch. I like it. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's, that's another one of my favorite cams right there. I can drive on this one. What the, the behind one? <laughs> I was gonna say I, I like looking at my driver with his T-shirt, man. Even he bought some merch. <laughs> the the you we just landed. Yeah, I mean to a certain extent. I think the you know the one thing that's hard to recreate because it's it's kind of like a, there's really no standard for it yet. Um, one of the hardest things is is this, is, is really kind of like deciphering between like your EQ balance between you got a sub at home, do you got you know do you got uh, speakers at home, you got a headphone, are the headphones any good? Uh, are they noise canceling? Is there bleed over from all other kinds of crap? Like there's so many things that go into how you like actually hear sound versus how someone actually intended on you hearing that sound. Um, and I think for, for some, they'll probably say, oh, we could need a little more bass, could need a little more of this. But as overall well-rounded, like, it's pretty doggone good. It is pretty doggone good. Really good. I <laughs> didn't represent out there, man. <laughs> oh, that's good, man. I was going to say, um, what is the one thing that I've always... Does anybody in stream know? Not that I have anything to give away. I was about to say, if the truck wasn't $100, I'd give one away. Um, <laughs> Jill's like, oh, God. Uh, but if uh, well, what's the one thing in chat just for some major shout outage like the one thing that I tell you guys on the sounds that I wish we had can anybody do that does anybody know what it is what's up Levi Box how are you oh yeah the A40s that's what I got yeah I don't have the mix hand but I do have the A40s Yeah, we can usually hear the we can usually hear the the turbo. Um, you're listening to it. Yeah, in, in, intake's one thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all are starting to get onto it now. Yeah, all of those accessory sounds like the 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 engine literally sucking air. I mean, with most of these mods now, we're kind of starting to get guys that have like the decent fan, fan sounds. You know, you can kind of hear just the fan in the in the in the early part of it. You know, that has that early whoosh sound, but it's usually not separated quite as much as it is here. And the thing that's really, really, really cool about this um, is the thing that's really cool is like you can really hear almost like the exhaust is fluttering in your face. 
Like, if you're on the front side, see, it sounds totally different. Like, you can still hear this sound, but it doesn't sound like it's literally compressing in your face. But, oh, oops, sorry, oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. But you get back here, and then listen to it back here. Hear it? It literally sounds like it's fluttering in your face, which is which is awesome. To your manifold gauge there. You know, we used to run, we've actually ran Z-Mod stuff in a lot of the uh, trucks. We basically kind of left, not really left his stuff. After like 139, there was quite a few. Robin Igus came back, Creech updated some nice engine sounds. Like all of those kind of things started happening. So um, we were able in some cases to, to really kind of venture out and kind of show a little bit of everything. Um, but it's nice to be able to go back and then kind of remember where we were like in the beginning of F mod like a lot of the sound designers have come a long way but not 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 as not this far this 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 quick you know what I'm saying it's yeah this is this is pretty this is pretty far out from where we've been uh, in ATS for a while what that little knock sound that they're talking about Like, is that you squeaking? I was like, uh, no. Continue straight. Hey, Alex, yes, the truck, yes. The sounds, no. Nah, sound is good, man. The sounds are free. They'll be out tomorrow on the Steam Workshop, so you guys will have these bad boys free up if you guys want them, which will be nice. Nice. We, we do a lot of payware stuff on there, which is nothing wrong with payware. It's just nice to be able to feature some like really solid payware. I mean, some really solid payware quality. How about that? Payware quality that is free. So, <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It's a little. I've, I've got some. Uh, I've got some Fanatec pedal oil they sent me, so I have to spread some of that on it. Yeah, yeah, right. Now. Oh, nice DSG. That's good, man. Yeah, she called me out for a squeaky pedal their trip. Hey, Joel, thank you there. Hey, thanks there for the $3 uh, Aussie's chat there. Uh, we're getting to engine. So the engine tomorrow will be available on the Steam Workshop. You'll be able to search Z mods. Or um, I guess by tomorrow's video, I will also... Um, I will also be able to, uh, to chunk some uh, links up in this video as well as the one I'm going to release tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning's video is basically just going to be kind of experiencing the, you know, the, the, just the sounds in, it, in their entirety. Um, I'm not really going to do a ton of commentating except just to kind of get things started. And then after that, it's going to be just a nice small trip where we get to hear some, uh, some Jake breakage action, which I know everyone that's uh, not tuning in for the live stream will appreciate. Um, cause there's a, there's a lot of guys that don't like watching through. We're trying to sit through a two hour live stream and I get it. Um, but, uh, it's a lot more fun for me. I can tell you that. It's worth killing about. <laughs> so, uh, it could go a million ways. We'll just leave it at that. Uh, I'm not going to be too silent. 
Yeah, I'll be too solid. This thing sounds good, man, in the cruise. Actually, you know what? I'll be on quite honest with you. I really think this engine sounds good with the windows up. There's something about it, man. It just, you know, picture like, I can't play them on here, but just picture there being some, uh, some Trucker's FM tunes going on in the background, you know? I mean, like, that could seriously be like a serious cruiser right there, man. <laughs> uh, so none of this is mine. So I want you guys to understand, like, I, all I do is showcase these things, and, and I'm thankful for... Uh, these modders that do it so I just showcase them the showcase right these mods That's for them right. um, of course most of all these mods um, you know has been purchased by either someone that donated them from me which was like this one um, but I've got all of the stuff in the in the link in the description for right. this one uh, and I've also got the guys Facebook page that you can also contact if you're really seriously interested now this truck mod is 105 um, and that's you know out the door PayPal and all if that's what you do um, so if you're really seriously interested on that mod then uh, feel free to contact him and he gets you set up with everything you need um, and then the sounds like I said will be free so but I don't actually do any of the modding I just I just love to drive these things around and show you guys some freaking killer trucks and killer mods so that's up DeAndre I think it's 50 AJ Yeah, there's a, let's see what, there's a blue one, uh, there's a blue one, like a light blue and a purple and a, like maybe a dark Turn one left. maybe, I can't remember. Yeah, I only put purple on there because the truck's purple. Yeah, I know, I know, Koa. And I, I don't think, hey, is Zemont, is he still in here? Did I, yeah, he's still in here. Um. Yeah, I don't, so if, if we've got a, do we have a, it'd be nice if we have a moderator in here um, that can go ahead and show Zmod's uh, last chat there, Joselito, maybe you can grab it for me. Um, y'all can, y'all can go check out his, uh, his Facebook group there. It does, it gives you an error. It might be, maybe because it's a link. Let me see if it'll let me do it. Yeah. All right, here, let me, let me do this. All right, there you go. So there's his. I guess it's because it's a link. It won't even let us okay a link. So, yeah. Okay. All right. I got you, man. No problem. Let's see. What what gear was I in? Not not three. Not seven. Let's try six. <laughs> oh, that pedal's really bad tonight. It's really amazing. Oh, she's gonna she's gonna hate that one, Miller. Yeah. So that link I just dropped in there is it is the um is the group there for uh, Z. And don't forget, I also put his PayPal in there as well. If you guys want to buy him a cup of coffee, buy him a six pack, buy him a whatever he, you know, maybe he likes a quarter milk. I don't know. Who <laughs> doesn't like a quarter milk? Now, I think I just got done saying that there, Oscillator. I mean, I'll be glad to stop the stream and go oil it for you. <laughs> you should have seen a look in her eye. If she had been holding a knife, I probably would have turned the stream off and we might have got the truck started driving. Just hoping, hoping it wasn't because of me. <laughs> oh, if he likes me there, he may. He's uh, also, by the way, I think Zmods uh, is uh, in the United Kingdom. So he's a non-American doing American engine sounds better than most American. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to shut up now. I'm just going to shut up now. It's so beautiful. Oop, not that one. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that's a good one there. I like that one. Hi there, little police man. Squeaky clutch in a real car is uh Yes Devin, this is this is rolling. Um, 
yes bull so this one will work on the texas chrome uh, w9 yes um the reason and actually you know the roland 3d9 actually uses the same naming structure as the 3d9 because it's essentially like a really in-depth edit of that truck uh in the same way with the texas chrome uh, shop mod. It's a really an edit of the W9, although lots of it is changed. Um, it's at minus a few interior pieces and stuff, but it keeps basically what I'm getting at. It keeps the same naming structure. So basically, any kind of a custom mod, custom when I say custom mod, I have to say that lightly. Sound mods, uh, sound mods, anything that adds to the 3D9 in that way. Physics mods, which probably isn't a great idea, um, but any of those types of things that are like for the generic Peterbilt 3D9 will work on these two custom trucks. Um, so if, if the sound is good for the 389 for the default one, then it'll also work on, um, it'll also work on this one. Same way with Texas Chrome. So, so but I, you know, my, my point was uh, earlier, man, was like, if you're, if you're one of those guys that likes to cruise the long haul and you know, the, the music's, you know, they don't have to be blaring, but the music's in the background, you got the windows up, like it's literally it's pretty legit i'm not gonna say i actually like the interior sound probably the best without the windows rolled down like i don't mind any of it but i feel like everything's really nestled really nice inside the cab um and then the outside sound is like just ridiculously killer so if you want to you know experience this and it's all of its glory i mean it's crazy good man Andrew, I don't think it would matter at that point. You would just tell people you got a custom engine for your for your Western Star, and they just shut up about it. <laughs> um, so how do you do multi stage, Jake? You don't. Um, yeah. So I mean, there really is no multi stage, Jake, unless it's set up in a sound file to do something at a certain RPM. I mean, F mod gives you a lot of um, it gives you a lot of abilities to, to really mess with it. But as for I don't know exactly the organizational uh, headache that some of that requires from the modders. I know it works in a Lone Star. I'm not sure if it works in the Volvo checks. Not sure. Because there is like this really nice, there, there's, and I wouldn't call it a multi, but there are, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes from developers, like, especially the mod guys, like, when you cut the, uh, this is kind of a hard thing to understand, but this is like, uh, okay, let me see how, let me see how I can actually pull this up. So this is, this is what I would say, uh, layman's terms, maybe. So there's a search thing as like roll off of these sounds that give it a realistic environmental sound. So let me, let me explain what I mean. So like when you're, when you're going, you know, you've got basically your full in, but let's just say the seven high here, let's just go seven low. Pull in the engine brake. It rolls in. It doesn't just like, wow, it just comes straight on. And then when you switch it off, listen to what happens. It almost has this at the end of it, like the valve is closing and it's not allowing any more to happen. Hear that? And so like, even if it's a really simple sound and it's a simple effect, it really has a, like a long lasting environmental like. Um, so when you put all of that together, the turbo sounds the way they come in, the turbo reverse spool, the spool. So when you're you know, up here, you can hear the, you can hear the, the turbo spool up with it and then come down with it. And then it goes off and starts going back the other way when you start getting back on it. So, I mean, you know, it's like little things like that. F-Mod gives you an insane amount of things that you can do outside of just your standard, like engine A, engine B, inside and outside. And so there's like 70 structural folders to catch a three-dimensional sound of the truck. So whether or not, and I know he did tell me that they made, um, they made recordings um, they made recordings like 70 different sound files for this truck, you know, inside the F mod structure, which I mean, doesn't it may sound like a lie, but honestly, for what it is, it's, it's really what should be there to give you the actual representation of that three, three dimensional environment of sound. So it's pretty cool. That's why you can say you hear different engine elements in front of the truck. Um, 
You can hear certain ones in the in the back. You definitely hear all the exhaust in the back. Like you don't hear. It's here. Like you don't hear any of like um, you don't hear any of the the fan the like the the turbos the the intakes. I mean, you hear a little bit of the turbos, but you don't like hear any of that stuff. All you hear is straight up pipes, and then you get up to the side of the engine, then you hear. <laughs> Doing a sound demonstration, this should have, should have, should have, should have watched, should have watched, all right. All right. Oh, okay, there you go, audio samples, there you go. Yeah, because the, the, the really low one, and what he means by that, by the stages, is probably set up by the RBM, so the Jake brake doesn't continue to go blah, 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 when it's at like a thousand RPMs. Obviously, the engine would not be turning as hard. So it would be more like a flop, 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 flop. You know what I'm saying? So here, I'll, we'll let it go all the way down. Sorry, I missed totally what he was saying on that. Nah, only when y'all are watching the V-Dub. <laughs> yeah, I know Zell. I was like, oh, seriously, is Zell throwing some bad news up in chat, man? <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Yeah, I know what you're talking about, Lucy. I'm talking about I'm talking about one of those uh, like here and just a at the end of the sound, you, you get a you get a dynamic Jake brake that you don't find in some of the other trucks. A lot of them sound the same. They're pitched the same and everything all the way through the Jake brake. And then when you hit the button off, they just completely just shut. Like there's no there's no beginning and end and round off to that sound to, to pull it into that realistic dimension. Um, which this one, you know, obviously has <laughs> got plenty of dimension. <laughs> I know there's going to be a lot of videos of this one come out, I guarantee you. I might have to come up with some really good clickbait tomorrow. <laughs> yes, there is. I usually map mine to the plus and the minus um, uh, on the keypad because it's right here. Um, but yeah, that's one thing. It doesn't come mapped by default, so it's kind of like the Windows. If you want to map it, you'll have to you have to choose a couple of keys to do that. So, what's up, gaming? How are you, man? All right, hey Zeus, have a good buddy. Turn left. It's even, it's, it's almost, it's almost got a little bit of a, it's almost got a little bit of a lopy feel to it, but you can. What's up, Hodge? How are you, man? Alan Crawler, what's up? Yes. Yes, there is three. You can do whichever one, and they just, they affect it, but it seems like they just get, they get quieter. They get quieter as it goes on. So one's really loud, the one that stops you, and then the other ones are like loud and then like nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and turn left on the red. I'm sure they won't mind.
What are you talking about, dude? <laughs> what on earth are you talking about? I think I totally missed my turn in here. Yeah, forgot that. Whoops. Oh, you know what? We probably do need to do it this way. Part of that is me, Edible. <laughs> Part of that's me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 man. Hey, thanks there, Z. Yeah, man. Uh, good to see you, man. He, he's in the UK, so it is uh, plus, what, five for him? So it's getting on to be about three o'clock in the morning, so he wanted to try to stay up and uh, try to stay up and hang out with us, man. So uh, so it's good good to have you, man. Really, really, really good work on the on the, uh, the engine mods, and we're going to have to try that again. So I appreciate you coming by, man. Appreciate the early access for the mod. And, uh, and I hope all these guys enjoy it, and I hope they, uh, I hope they do a little support your way too, man. Hey, what's up, Tyson? How are you, man? I'd be a real trucker. <laughs> I'd probably do better on YouTube if I was a real trucker. Heck, I don't have to do anything except just drive a truck, man. You get like 100,000 views. Don't even have to talk. You just gotta drive. <laughs> but on YouTube, you know... He's the guy who can't get out of his chair. I don't know how that happens. <laughs> Oops, not too early, don't well oh, man. It's gonna be tough to get this in here now. They're going to give it to me. I think that's just pretty much because the trailer's in there. Okay. Yeah. It's good, man. It's good. Let's see there, Tyson. Uh, it's not from Viper. Yeah, I, I, w I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go that deep down the rabbit hole, dude. It, it's, it's really not. Um, Texas Chrome Shop's a mod to his truck uh, of the default. Uh, I'm driving a custom cab. I mean, maybe the cab and the hood are, but, um, you know, a, a, a big edit of the truck. I don't think there's much of this truck, though, that, that is. Um, there, I tell you this, there's nothing off of it stolen from Vipers. I can assure you that. Um, you, you, could, you can tell a lot of this stuff if it wasn't. Um, you know, you don't have to like it. I mean, it's fine. You don't have to buy it. Um, I, mean, nobody's, I mean, nobody's making anybody do this stuff. But I, the only thing I try to do, man, is showcase what is out there if you don't like it that's up to your responsibility as to whether or not you pay for it or buy for it and this way you can look at it and say man i'm glad i didn't buy that and it is what it is uh, or you look at it and say man i really want that that's really nice i like it um but i mean any i'm kind of I'm, I'm almost kind of tired of hearing the argument about that because i don't know very 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 few trucks i can tell you a, a couple people is john ruta bart Z, um this truck uh, what's the uh, KI Shadow Walkers? Most of those are all built from the ground up. Most of these parts are all customs because if you go back and actually look in the mod and you look in the naming um, of this, um, none of those parts come out of Viper stuff. I mean, they just don't. I mean, they might look the same, but you can tell in the material usage and everything else that it's not Viper stuff. Um, if you saw that in Facebook, uh, yeah, I, I can't. I can't help anybody that believes the stuff off of uh, Facebook because. Everybody will say anything on Facebook to get their comment liked ahead of somebody else's, and that's why I don't do it. It's disgusting. I would love to plug in that ATS Mod Updates group, but I can't stand it, man. I, I just I can't do it. I can't do it. There's so much toxicity in that stuff, and there's no, you know, if people don't want to support them, they do it. If they don't, they don't. Just keep their mouth shut. And half of it, 
and, I'll, and I'm not accusing you of this, David, um, but just since the conversation, you know, come to light, um, most of the people that complain and jack around with these trucks is because they really can't afford it, but they really want to have it. So the best thing to do is just make it seem, you know, like it's a piece of trash that makes it feel better about not being able to buy it. So um, if you can't afford it, like that's fine, but there's a lot of other good affordable trucks that have really great stuff. Um, and I would say that, you know, 75% of the stuff I've ever streamed, I know that there are parts off that came off someone else's truck, but I choose not to say anything. So, so, but you know, it, it, it it's, it's kind of, why, why is this? Oh, I bet this is cause it's here. I was like, why is this not showing up? This is driving me nuts. I was like, I picked this job like three times. Why is it not showing up? <laughs> okay. There it goes. <laughs> Guess we're going to Gallup, New Mexico. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, there it is. <laughs> he read it on Facebook. Yeah, well. What's up, Jeremy? How are you, man? Well, I tell you, man, you know, you're Dave, you're starting to get into skins. You'll you'll figure out, man, when you start putting your own master pack of skins together, bud. <laughs> man, as as I am figuring out, and I'm like, you could man, I'm like, hey, if somebody wants to, you know, somebody wants to like, hey, how much is your skins uh, charge? I'm like, there could be $50, man, because it took me a long time to figure this out. <laughs> I'll be like, um, yeah, the skin's probably going to run you about 75 dude. I'm tell you, man, it's a lot of work putting my skins together. <laughs> be like, yep. Man, FTG skins, man, they're good, but they're just pricey. Oh. Oh, Two Face. Yeah, somebody else used to say fake book. It's all the time. I kind of got on my nerves. The fake book. That was before, like, 95% of the stuff on Facebook was fake. <laughs> oh, man. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. I'm just kidding, Gavin. I'm just kidding, man. <laughs> They already have Joselito. I've already found four people on Facebook. I guess because I'm in a lot of these groups as my real character. As my real character. <laughs> as my real character. As my real self. And people don't really know that. Uh, so don't go looking for me or I'll have to kill somebody. And then I won't be able to stream anymore because I'll be in the uh, state lockup. So federal lockup. So you don't do that. Um, at any rate, <clears throat> moving right along. I noticed on a couple of Facebooks that people had literally taken my skin and just like markered out the United and then put a bad text of their name and left the the left the logistics part. It's like really? It's like oh my god! Like when I originally did that, I took the I took the original idea from the um, from the GTM skins on the the paints. But the thing that I found out pretty quick was I, I pretty much had to take like you know all of those and I had to like. Uh, I had to like maneuver them and I was like what the heck am I doing so then I just basically took it and then had to like recreate the same idea to recreate it for different trucks and then custom do all the front and the stripes and stuff and redo them all so it, like stealing stuff like that just doesn't really like I, like I don't even know why people do it because there's so much work in having to go back and actually try to make it fit what you're doing especially if you have your own ideas with it, it makes it really tough but I, I thought that was I kind of laughed at that because it was really actually kind of bad thought it was funny. I was like, well, at least they liked it enough to try to steal it, you know. So my mom and dad said, hey, but that guy sitting beside you at the desk, you know, whenever he's got the uh, same shoes on as you, just, 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 you know, feel good that he wanted to copy enough and like those shoes that he wanted to go out and buy himself a pair. So, <laughs> anyway, you know, it is what it is. Where do I find some of the trucks, man? All over the place, honestly, but I used to really go out and mod hunt. I used to ask questions i used to reach out to guys um and uh you know see see what they were see what they had and luckily i kind of called this this whole payware market kind of called it all at the same the same point so um i've, I've been able to kind of you know create some really nice friendships and relationships with these guys um uh, just giving you know honest feedback on the mods that uh, that we drive around plus being able to to see how you guys like it and um you know, so I've, I've, I'm pretty picky about it. There's still a lot more payware stuff out there that I don't, I don't really 
mess with just because I'm just I don't feel quite comfortable with it yet um, but uh, so what you see on the stream is stuff that I really like and stuff that I feel like is fair for what it is and stuff you guys would appreciate and uh, get a lot out of too so oh yeah it's been much worse yeah there's a lot more there's a lot more people in ETS too and a lot more uh, backdoor alleys to walk down in those man what's up Mark Howard man what do you mean now I'm going 65? I, it's just the transmission in the truck. It's not a uh, it's not a heavy hauler transmission. It's like a it's either the 290 or the 320. So like it's definitely a interstate cruiser. I guess what you think I ought to be doing like 45 and 6. Yeah, it's, yeah, and that's the. And that's the problem, David. I mean, it's not your fault, man. I'm, I'm no, by no means, man. David's a big fan of the channel and um, big cheerleader here of what's going on. So it's no way, you know, no way in, no way in case to single him out. He just kind of brought up the thing that he heard um, through Facebook stuff. So, I mean, that's the problem with it. You know, if people actually knew what they were looking at, I will say the, you know, the Texas Chrome probably caught a little bit more than, say, the Roland 39 did. Um, but Texas Chrome Shops, to be fair, like I even reached out to Pinga and Pinga abandoned the mod and gave it out and gave it up. So anybody could have taken that mod and done anything with it. So if they're going to take it, continue to work on it, make it their own um, and take that as it was. Because it was a 2016 model from like Turbo Squid, like the model of the year. So it wasn't like it was the only one available, but he abandoned it and gave it away and created a new one. So they just took the old one and said, OK, we'll run with it. You know, so I was like, OK. You know, Pinga was like, hey, it's theirs. I mean, I gave it away for free, so they can do what they want to with it. And I was like, okay. <laughs> but everybody's good with it. Okay, I'm good with it. You know, it's like, hey, his wife, you know, my wife, we, you know, they divorced, we separated, we remarried, you know, everything's good. Okay, all right, whatever. <laughs> Just want to make sure everybody's on the up and up. Yeah, we good, FTG. Okay. So, you know. Uh, I run it sometimes, Sean. Sometimes I don't. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes I'll just. Uh, sometimes I mean, I'll, sometimes I'll run it, but other times, man, it just kind of gets like a little, kind of gets a little over the over the top. I got so much stuff going on the screen, people don't really get to see the see the game. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's still back there. I just haven't been running it. Felt like that was a good time to just roll the J break. I don't know. Thank you there, Alex. And let's sneak, sneak. Oh yeah. And that was his fault, not mine. His fault, not mine. Days gone. No, 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 no. Uh, next comp. Um, yes, convoy is always on Fridays and Saturdays. Uh, Javil. Javal. Straight up cruise right now. Let's uh oh yeah, okay. What's up Joseph? How are you man? Convoy action Matt, just uh if you want to follow our um, uh, official convoy. Wait a minute, I gotta I gotta I got all the money, I just modded it in. I create all my own profiles now, so. I've got about seven that I use for uh, different various stuff for ATS, and yeah, so I just use all of that. You want to hear the air suck? All right there, country guy. Uh, yeah, you there's some tools uh, TSSC tool or uh, that that one will create you can also copy profiles and then uh, you can mod your own money in them it's got to know how to do it actually my discord's got one so the discord link should be good 
um, down in the description. I've got one in their uh, Truckers MP info section. I've got a minor profile for ATS and ETS with tons of money, with tons of uh, XPs. You don't have to worry about buying any of your stuff or buying, you know, buying the next um, buying the next trucks and parts and all that other stuff. You can use it for a MP. Whoops, let's go this way. Uh, you can use it for MP or any of that stuff. Oh, well, that's two for the day. I'm kind of doing speed. No, I'm not doing speed. The speed limit's 75 edible. So uh, we're doing within the DOT, uh, the DOT regulated uh, grace of six miles an hour, low or high. So we're good. Nice, man. <laughs> nice, man. <laughs> Oh, it's hilarious, man. There you go. There's some of that sucking sound. Who wanted the sucking sound? What's my favorite truck, Drake? Oh, gosh, man. I don't know. This is one of them. I like this truck, man. This truck's solid. Um, I like this one. I like Pingus 389. You know, John Rudis, um, I probably like his classic the most, honestly, just because it's something that we don't really have a ton of. Um, but, uh, you know, if you're looking for, like, old school stuff, like, man, Chaos Shadow Walker does an incredible job with some of his old trucks. Like, I really don't have an old, like, a favorite, like... You know, I, I enjoy, like, I'll drive this for a while, and then I'll put it up in the garage, I'll pick something else out, and then I'll drive it for a while. Like, it's just kind of, like, constantly changing a little bit, you know what I mean? And that's okay. Uh, I've got a lot of trucks, and some that I haven't driven in a while, and then they get updated, I get back in them, I'm like, yeah, I'll just like, enjoy this, and, and the next thing you know, you kind of like, something else comes out. We got two more trucks this week that you guys have not seen on the channel before, so... That'll be nice and exciting to kind of throw those up there. Yeah, the break. Yeah, once we get going down the uh, the hill here. Depends on whether or not your friends like it. If your friends like it, then you good, man. What's up, Ron? How are you, man? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the big horn. Yeah, it's good. Cool. So, Drake, um, any of my stuff in my setup that you want to see, um, any, any of that stuff is, like, down in the description, exactly what I have. So, you can literally take anything of what I have and put it, literally put it right into Google. And you'll pull up exactly because there's only one supplier that makes the rig that I sit in. Um, I don't have like a gaming chair. I have like a full, full supportive rig. Um, triple monitors, the mounts, like I've got everything in the description, buddy. Wheels, pedals. I've got shifters, button boxes, and then I've got stream equipment. So if you don't want to know what cameras I run, all that stuff, it's all just kind of all linked out there in the in the um, in the description of the videos now. And once the new PC and the monitors get here, then I'm gonna do a full setup because at that point I'll pretty much be set uh, exactly what I uh, exactly what I want to do then. So I'll be good to go. Because uh, everyone asked me to, Sean. Like you'll you'll ask me like, why well, why do you do that? Like nobody does that. But then if I don't do it, people say shift with a Jake on. It's Jamaican style. So then Jamaican style, I guess. I don't know. Maybe. I'm not a truck driver, there, rich guy. I'm just a. Uh, According to the YouTube comments that get hidden, I'm just a, you know, uh, sorry SOB that likes to drive trucks and makes a wannabe, you know, because I'm not man enough to do it in the real world. That's what people say. Turn right. Like, okay. <laughs> who's home and who's not? But you know, whatever. I'm not salty. Oops, and we did a curb there. That's all right. Here we go. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Jeff? How are you, man? 
You're catching my salty part of the stream, man. <laughs> yeah, Rosalito's like, yeah, that's a pretty regular part, man. Once we get past the first hour and a half, man, things are all good. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, I know, Degleg. I know, man. I know. <laughs> yeah, the wannabe pilot. Yeah, I get that. I used to get that one all the time. So then I got my real license, and then I, then I wasn't good enough to go any further. I was like, well, this is nice. I never got that for farming, though. Evidently, I wasn't like a second-rate farmer because i never been on a farm. Evidently, that one never mattered. Just trucking. All right. Whatever, man. <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, I guess. <laughs> So I'll give Jeff a shout out. It's good to have him uh, join us here on stream, hang out with us. It's always good when you when you guys come in and and holla out and say hey. Uh, what wheels and tires? So these are the Smarties wheel pack from the Seam Workshop. So these are free, man. Uh, all you gotta do is just um, all you gotta do is uh, go find them. Smarties wheel pack. I should be under there. So. Oh, you lie about your cert. Yeah, yeah. I've gotten that one a few times. Actually, not a few times. I, they've actually, I think because I don't do this nearly as much, they just don't even watch my flight and stuff. So at least you've got that going for you. <laughs> oh, salty part of the stream. We need to have a discussion afterwards. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I can get this long wheelbase in there. Make a life behind the wheel truck? Yeah, well, see, that's the thing. I, I'm not a real truck driver, so I can't really do life behind the wheel because I don't, like, the, if, if, if I did a life behind the wheel for you guys, it would be like, hey, guys, we're uh, here. We're uh, got our dash cam all set up here on the Toyota Tundra. <laughs> it's a automatic with a 5.7. It's uh, it's wonderful. And it's even two-wheel drive because in North Carolina, we don't get snow and have no necessity for the need of a four-wheel drive just in case you have an overcompensation about what size of truck you have. So, you know, <laughs> so what are those types of things? It's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Group bugs all around. <laughs> We're all a bunch of sorry saps, man. <laughs> I know life behind the wheel. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, YouTube or not, like, it's different when the guys are, you know, actually like real truck drivers and they do stuff like that. And the CB roll and CB interviews. Someone asked me to do roll and CB interviews. I was like, how am I supposed to do that? Hey, today we're old truckers MP <laughs> doing a roll and CB interview with uh, Uzalito. Welcome Uzalito to the state. And all you see is him typing in the chat. <laughs> that would be kind of a, that'd be kind of a, that'd be kind of funny actually. We ought to try that Uzalito. We'll try that. <laughs> hey, what's up, Randall? It's good to see you, man. It has been a, it has been a while, man. Yeah, I, I know V Dub. I know it is, man. I know it is. How long have we been going? Where are we at nine o'clock. Oh shoot! Y'all hear one more? Do we do like a little a little shorty? Oh, nice. Uh, no, I'm I'm just wearing red shoes. They're not slippers. No, they're not Dorothy slippers either. You got that before. <clears throat> Only not nine thirty. Well, for you, for me, it's ten thirty. <laughs> All right, we'll do one more small one. Let's see. Let's um, let's get out of the flatlands. How about that? Let's get back over to our mountainous regions. Let's see what we got here. Um. Hmm. Uh, how about steamboat? How about Fort Collins? Let's go to Fort Collins. We go to Fort Collins, man. Uh, Jonathan, actually, we've had it for quite a while. Um, we've had it for uh, probably over a month. We did a I don't know three or four live streams with it, and then we gave one away. So, yeah, it's um. It's it's nice, man. We've um, 
Um, I, and I, I try to mix it up. I don't try to drive it all the time, you know, because it's, it's kind of one of those that people get a little salty about when you drive, you know, and then I have to kind of always field the same questions out with it. So I, I don't, well, I used to do a lot more than I do now. Now I just pretty much ride them off, but uh, let's go to Fort Collins. Whoops, not that way. Hang on. Let's see where I'm going to go. Probably have to go to the home store, so I'm just going to put myself there anyway. Yeah, we got some flatbeds. You want to see a flatbed? Uh, I think they're in this profile. Hang on. Let's see. Uh, reefer. I've got the Dopker flatbed. So this was, yeah, so that was Bart's Bros, the Everest. I think that's the default. Let me see if I actually have it in here. Yeah, I do have it in here. This is probably my favorite. We'll build this up real quick. It won't take us but, it won't take us but a second. I don't even have the chrome box on them anymore. Let's throw the wheels on this bad boy. We'll change the color and we will roll out the door. Uh, if it wasn't a meet and greet thing, yeah, you know, meet and greets, they're weird. I used to say, yeah, sure, I'd meet anybody. And quite frankly, I have met uh, one person. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and I wasn't that scared, uh, mainly because I talked to him in the Discord quite a lot. And so I didn't... You know, I didn't have that knee jerk reaction. A lot of people do, but I'll be quite honest, man. There's been some times where, um, yeah, I don't, you know, there's been people that have texted me or like on discord, be like, Hey bro, I'm in such and such. Didn't know if you wanted to meet. And I'm like, how do you even know where I live? Oh, it wasn't that hard to find. And I'm like, bro, if you show up on my doorstep, it'll be the last time you step on anybody's doorstep. So I've had some interactions with people that have not left me with a very comfortable feeling. <laughs> so I, uh, you know, tend to stay away from those. Even if it was, uh, you know, even if it was, uh, you know, a really nice guy. Because nowadays you just, there's nobody that, you know, is like a really nice guy. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty creepy. Yeah, it is pretty creepy. Yeah. And, and unfortunately, like the way PayPal works, you know, they don't allow even a business that's got to have addresses and that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, it's not, it's not too hard to figure out where I live, but you know, yeah, my wife won't, my life won't, uh, my wife will not allow that, but you know, whatever. It's fine. I'm not salty. All right, let's go ahead and let's do, whoops, let's not sell it, man. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a bad thing there, Bryce. <laughs> Nobody really wants that nowadays. Yeah, it's kind of a kind of a crazy kind of thing all right let's see all right i feel like i gotta do something else let's join it to our trailer there it is butamus oh yeah shoot all right let's i forgot i didn't do the i don't and i don't know and there's been other like like the okay so the scary ones and if you've been a trucker that's done this like i i'm not really saying anything like I'm just saying on the on the flip side, like after the fact, it's kind of funny. <laughs> but um, so I've had a couple of guys be like, hey, don't you live close to I-40? And I'm like, uh, kind of not really. But I'm yeah, I'm I'm hop, skipping a jump. And oh, well, hey, I'm, I'm like, you know, it's such and such on I-40 and didn't know if you wanted to, like, take the weekend trip. It's like, no, <laughs> like, you know, like. I don't know. For me, that feels like that probably might be the last time that I might see my family. <laughs> like, hey, you could do like an interview and everything. I'm like, yeah, all I can think of is Buffalo Bill asking the girl in the pit to put the lotion on the skin. It's FTG. He puts the lotion on the skin. <laughs> like, nope, no, I don't. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, so I, I kind of shy away from those. So it's kind of a, yeah. 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 There we go. That's the one I wanted. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. All, all the time, Jeremy. That's why I was kind of like freaked out to actually do it. I was like, yeah, I don't know that I want to start out that way. It's kind of a bad way. You know, it's like yeah, you never you never do that. They always bad babies always start out that way. All right. Let's see uh, <laughs> if we could find somewhere going a little bit west. Just give me anything west. I'll watch. We won't get nothing. Oh, we did get something here. Oh, pine bark. Ooh, how about an exciting load? Who wants to haul pine bark in a, you know, $300,000 truck trailer combo? Uh, how much? Well, yeah, we'll do. All right, we'll do a short one here. We'll uh, fire up, rip up the old Jake break on this thing. How about that? We'll take some cinder blocks. How exciting. These are, uh, these are Joselito's favorite loads, by the way, guys. So, uh. So just hashtag Joselito. Uh, no, we don't don't hashtag Joselito. Just hashtag uh, Polito's favorite loads. <laughs> uh, have a caged IBC totes. How about that? I don't even know what an IBC tote is. It sounds like a sounds like an alcoholic beverage. An IBC. Oh, that was that root beer, wasn't it? Yeah. Y'all just pay no attention to my squeaky battle. Uh, Cuffs. The merch should be on the merch shelf right below the video. Um, yeah, they should be still there. All right, here we go. Let's, uh, for those of you who have not really heard this engine a little bit, uh, go ahead and thump it out a little bit here. Uh, is Joel coming out? So, Joel, uh, what do you mean? Uh, Joel, no, he's not coming out with anything. Uh, he's working on some updates for the new Roland 389. Uh, Z Mods is coming out with his sound engine pack tomorrow, sometime. Do a night trip? All right, yeah, we can do a night trip. What's up, Seth? How are you, man? Nice work building. <laughs> Where? What's up, dude? How are you, man? Good to see you. Bup, bup. Yeah, actually, I'm only doing 23. It just looks fast. It sounds fast. I'm sure we would not use our. Uh... Speaking. Of, it looks like COVID. Look over here, guys. Looks like COVID. Nobody to fill up our patio heaters in the middle of Colorado in the summer. Hey, what's up, CJ? Yes. Uh, Kenny, this is the written hour. Um, um, this is the one we pull this one a lot. Although I probably haven't pulled this one in quite a while because yeah, I think it got an update here, 139. Continue straight. Yeah, trip. Yeah, well, I've actually played quite a bit of Firefight Sim. You know, you know. This is, I guess, this is more like YouTuber woes. Uh, you know, aside from like you know what people say about your your personal uh, involvement with these games, like they do them as you know themselves. Actually, you know, trucking. I understand we actually do have quite a few truckers. Um, but uh, the the one thing that that. Uh, one thing that kills me, like, I thought firefighting would, like, be the truckers, like, yeah, dude. No. No. Y'all didn't really want to see fighting any fires. Even though we got to drive the cool fire truck. If I had a fire truck mod in ATS, y'all would literally be, y'all would literally be fooling out the $100 bills for it. Oh, my God. Let me get in on that action. <laughs> Does the water hose squirt water? No. Oh, well. You know, maybe in an update. <laughs> it's like, new firefighter sim is like, everybody's like, yeah. He's not a real firefighter. He doesn't know the proper way to do this. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just picking on y'all, man. Just picking on y'all. I'm glad some of y'all find that funny. Turn left. Probably other people are like, yeah, man, this guy's a jerk. <laughs> Which one's paint dry, Sim? I think most of I think all simulators can in their own respect be paint drying like yes like i try to make trucking as fun as i possibly can 
you know we cut some jokes we have some fun we make some laughs you know and, and usually at somebody else's expense and it's all good uh, but there's at some point like <laughs> there's some point like you know where it's like hey we actually enjoy some of this stuff you know and it's funny go watch it you know they're like eh. but i think in all instances like flying is my all-time favorite i love it um you know i've got my own flight license in 200 meters, pilot license right. ifr uh, rated and so i didn't go any further than that um but it's one of my favorite turn sims right. but i will agree once you get past ten thousand feet it is boring you know i used to uh um i used to sign on vats in like back in the day the multiplayer client i'd actually sign off and leave the plane flying right. oops it's going left sorry guys <laughs> Um, I would actually sign uh, off of Asim, the multiplayer client, and I would go back. <laughs> I would go and let's let the plane fly. And then sometime the next morning, like it was Friday night or Saturday morning, uh, when I woke up Saturday morning, I'd see where the plane was, and then I would land it. I would just hop in my seat, and then I'd, you know, drinking whatever I was drinking, milk, eating cereal, you know, and then I would literally just land the plane. And that's what I used to do. Because once you get up past 10,000, it's boring. Man, trucking even to a certain extent, like once you get on the interstate, like for me, it's boring, you know, that's why I always do these like short trips that don't have a lot of interstate driving, you know, because it's at least it, scenery breaks up a little bit. You get to shift some gears because that's honestly the fun part of it. You know, you get into cruise on the interstate, it's no fun. So. Yes, yeah, so that's the thing, man. Car mechanic sim and all that stuff like that. That doesn't like it doesn't really doesn't do it for me, man. Stutting, <laughs> fly through the woods and never. <laughs> oh, touche. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, now DCS could be something, you know. It, and here's the weird part, like, like, I, and, and Jeff was in here earlier, and I know he could, he can attest to this because he actually does. He double dips on two different platforms he's got his youtube stuff that he does for 5m and all his doj stuff and then you know he does a lot of his live streaming stuff whether it's fun stuff whether it's good stuff truck stuff whatever he does all that on twitch so he he sees the boast but if anybody else has done twitch and facebook whatever you know you kind of see that there are different communities on different platforms and it seems to be that the majority of live streaming on this you know happens here and then You'll notice that if you go to play this sim, oh, guess what? All the live streaming happens over here. Oh, guess what? You want to race? Well, you're going to have to go to Twitch for that. Oh, you want to fly? Well, you might could do it on Twitch, but, you know, you'll get a lot more views if you go upload stuff on YouTube. And it's just like this never-ending revolving circle of, like, platforms that all these communities have just, for whatever reason, have gravitated to, and that's where they're stuck. So... That part is probably more frustrating than uh, the actual games that you try to play because you've got to make sure you're in the right platform for that game, which sucks. But, yeah, it is what it is. What's up, Big Dub? How are you, man? Trevor, we are in America Truck Simulator, buddy. Fixing to run a red light. Waiting on the old uh, van to get on out of the way. Got a little short, uh, little short one here going from Fort Collins up to Steamboat Springs. So we are, uh, should have turned left there. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll, uh, we'll exit this one on over here. Yeah, yeah, it's in the yeah, it's there and it's also in the title and this is Zmod's new N14 that's going to be out tomorrow for you guys. So this one's going to be uh, a whole lot of something here out of the next couple of days. Probably see a lot of buzz on this one because this is really, 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 really good. So yeah, yeah, exactly. It was a little but I guarantee you nobody in the chat said, hey, you know what? That's quite unrealistic. <laughs> um, if, if it was my choice for the ATS community, so the ATS community price used to be on uh, American Trucks. I mean, American Trucks M used to be on YouTube. Um, it used to be. It has not always been on Facebook. Um, I'll tell you what initially pulled it off of YouTube was when we started doing um when we started doing all of the um uh whatchamacallits the um oh shoot when we started doing all of those um like the payware mods 
when when ATS took all of their communities left and went to create their own communities and payware communities and mining communities on YouTube, that was the death of American Drug Sim on YouTube. Because YouTube does not have any kind of built-in social networking besides your community posts from the creators, which let's just face it, nobody likes, nobody you know really looks at or does anything with. Um, and everyone went into Facebook so they could share mods so that they could basically showcase what they're doing uh, to their particular groups that they were a member of. And then all of these guys like Bart's and Rudis and stuff have thousands of members on their pages. And then that's where they stay. Uh, and that's also where the, the, where the content creators burst out of that. Um, because why not? You can share someone's stream in 20 different places and reach a million different people in literally the matter of five minutes. You know, name the last time that any one of the 290 people watching right now, when's the last time you shared a YouTube stream? Never, because you really can't. And what do you share it to? Nobody's following your YouTube channel for you know like who you like. You know what I'm saying? That's what I mean. There's no built-in networking. It's all clickbait and to find out how you can get views on it. That's it. Crud. We're pine bark mulching it. All right, that's what we're doing. So, <laughs> well, thanks, Agent. You would be the one. <laughs> you would be the one that did. <laughs> Yeah, well, and see, Jeremy, that's why I didn't like it, man. I can't, I can't, I can't take it, man. I can't do it. You know, if you're going to show a picture and you're going to throw it in someone's face, at least tell them where it's from. You know, if it's a private edit, I would just tell them that in the title, and then nobody would ask you. But you know, it's fine. I just made a decision I wasn't going to do it. So, <laughs> John Morse, what's up? Yeah, see, Popus, yeah, see, see. I don't know that I ever have, and I'm a content creator. I don't share nothing on it, because who's, who's, y'all don't care if I share something on it. They're going to be like, what's he sharing stuff on YouTube for? <laughs> don't do that here. <laughs> People are like, yeah, that's right, man. Oh, when we can't even turn this thing around. That's, that's pretty terrible. All right. Since we've wasted like 20 minutes getting here, let's, uh, let's go ahead and let's, oh, we're in the, uh, we're going to be in the rumble echo zone here. Oh, well, thank you there, Cougar. And see, that's the thing. Like, I'm always curious if anybody ever comes from those Facebooks. Because, like, yeah, I don't want to leave home. I just want to stay here in my comfy place. Yeah, man. Woo! Nice, Matt. <laughs> Tell her big old nice country hearty shout out from OFTG. That ought to probably not make her feel weird at all. Hey, this is dad on YouTube shouted you out, honey. Dad. I can only imagine. I've got an eight-year-old, so I, I, I'm going to have so much fun when she gets about 13, 14. It's going to be glorious, man. It's going to be glorious. Absolutely glorious. Bags of Pining Soil. I guess uh, you would say we're going to Lowe's. Uh, what is this? Pine Bark Mulch. Rich Grow. Natural Pine Bark, pine bark Mulch. Yeah, I'd say, uh, do a night trip. All right, what we do, let's do, uh, how about we see a, how about we see a sunset on the way? How about that? Y'all just wanted to see the lights on the inside, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, Josh, I actually, I like Twitter, man. I, I actually like Twitter a lot. Um, it's, uh, and I know people, you know, Twitter is just really hard if you don't have any followers. And you know, if you don't have anyone to like your stuff, you, you kind of like, like, what do you do, you know? And it's kind of hard if you don't have a network already kind of built of people that actually do Twitter. Like, iRacing and a few other sims that I've done are pretty big in Twitter. Um, but American Drug Sim is not. I mean, unless you follow SCS. Like, you can always follow SCS and do some stuff in there. It's not too bad. Instagram, eh. Kind of a lot like Facebook, you know what I mean? We can virtually hold my trip. We can enjoy it together with everybody else. <laughs> You'll love the shotgun. Yeah, I can't wait to talk to you guys after stream.
<laughs> See, I like my flannel Nathan. That's <laughs> funny, man. <laughs> oh. um, we probably will be live here once it's 9 o'clock. Sorry, I didn't mean to shoot y'all out the window. Uh, yeah, we usually do about two hours, man. Yeah, we, we do use about two hours. <laughs> Dead leg. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's hilarious, man. Yeah, do some OnlyFans. Yeah, maybe I can talk to Jeff and get us an OnlyFans together. That ought to go over really well. I'll see you say something about our pilot's license then. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, depending on what, depending on, yeah, so I'm Eastern Standard Time, yeah, so I usually go from about 9 to 11. That's typically my, I normally don't stream on Mondays, but this was such a good mod to grab and, and, uh, and be able to throw up a stream there, so. Yeah, Greg, it does, man. I'm, I'm really impressed with it, man. Really impressed with it. They've done, uh, Zmods just does a really good job. We did a bunch in the beginning. I haven't, you know, go back and recap this mod, but if you are just joining us, um, then uh, we are uh, we're really really having a good time with this one. It's really 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 good. I, I'm um, I'm always impressed with what Z Mods does. He's uh, incredible when it comes to just the art of F Mod. Knows how to really make this thing sing and make it work. Uh, as long as you've got the right source stuff. So I've got links for basically everything in here. So if you guys are curious about the truck we're driving, I don't have the trailer in here. Um, the actually the the Mac Kurt slider that you guys saw uh, us use earlier. Uh, that one's actually from uh, the Roland 3D9 mod. So you actually get that trailer with the truck. Uh, and this trailer come out of Facebook. Uh, it's the Written Hour. Uh, it's the, I believe it's the old one from Dro Modding. Uh, it's the Curtain Cider slash Flatbed slash, I think it's the, uh, the Covered Wagon. Um, I'll find, uh, I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll drop, I'll be able to drop a link on this one. Um, I'll drop you guys a direct link here uh, once the uh, stream processes. I'll put it in, so it'll probably be ready by sometime in a few hours. Whenever it stops processing, uh, you'll see it there. So, yes, sir, dead leg. It is going live tomorrow. Yes, sir. Sorry, there, and I didn't. Uh, I, I didn't know that uh, your last comment there needed a, uh, you know, response. Hey, it looks. Uh, we'll be going. We're going to go this one little 190 mile trip. They wanted us to do a, do a night a night trip here. So we'll. Uh, we're heading down from uh, where are we at. We're in Fort Collins, going to Steamboat. So just a little short, little short trip. Yeah, Jeremy, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he used to put all his stuff on Steam Workshop and then he cut doing that, so. I mean, honestly, the reefers, dude, I mean, once you got one reefer, you got them all. I mean, his is pretty good, um, but obviously, I mean, like, I'll, I'll be honest with you, man. Um, Bart's is good. You only get the reefer with his. Uh, his reefer and, and um, uh, what's his name? His reefer and John Ruda's uh, USA Trailer Pack. Both reefers in those are really, really good. And at least with John's, you get three trailers. Bart's, you get the one, but it's super detailed. It's got a lot of stuff in it, man. It, it's worth it to just do that, not deal with the Facebook. I, I, I've i never really known Dro. Um, I just knew that there was a lot of mods there that just went unupdated for a long time. So I'm not sure if he's keeping stuff updated in his Facebook group or, or what. I, I have no idea. Oh, yeah, look at there. You want to find it? See? See? Victor, uh, they'll go on Steam Workshop tomorrow. Yep. Yeah, true. He, yeah, you can do. Yeah, you can do a little bit more with parts. Pretty legit, 
it right there. I don't care who you are. Truck comes with that wing. Yep. Yeah, so everything that you guys are like, you know, everything with this truck, everything that you're seeing comes with it. So these interior mods, the, you know, the steering wheel, I decided to go with um, a purple, one of the, of the uh, uh, SEI wheels from uh, SCS, the pack they did. But everything in here is, uh, comes with the truck. So all of these screens and the interior, the lights, the skins, um, even the wheels uh, are already set up with Smarties wheel pack in here, but um, you know everything you see comes with it. I don't have any like crazy external mods that are that are rolling on this. Um, the only thing that I do have is Z mods engine sound the N14, which is what we're on right now. So, um, so yeah, so. Probably shouldn't be going this way. I love it when they put these roads that we're not really supposed to travel down. Uh, you know, we can't commercial. We're not commercial. We're private trucking. <laughs> hey, don't make fun of my driver, Rosalito. It's not funny, man. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's pretty good. I mean, I would say I wish the, the brides were a little bit, like, wider. Uh, I like the height of them. They're not, like, you know, they're not, like, spotlights running through the air, which kind of look weird, but... You see, sometimes you do lose the you do you do you do lose the spillover on those lights on the sides, which I kind of wish I had. It can kind of get dark in this truck. And especially like if you turn on the interior lights. So this one's like an orange, but like there's a purple and a blue that are like almost black lightish, uh, and they're pretty cool. If I'd have been thinking, I would have put like an orange interior in here. It would have been crazy cool. You almost, you almost, you know, you see what I'm saying? Like you almost need a little bit more light spill on the side, but over and all, that would literally be my only like suggestion. <laughs> Why do I do YouTube? Ah, that's a pretty good question. Um, you know, for the most part, Bill, um, I tried it and I liked it. And uh, I, I will say one of the more reasons um, I enjoy being in, not like being in front of people, like performing like this, kind of weird, but I enjoy the community aspect of it. Um, yeah, we do a lot. I mean, I talk to a lot of people that come in the community that want to at least hang out in the rooms and talk. Um, and uh, so I, I enjoy, I enjoy my passion for gaming. Uh, I enjoy sharing that with others that enjoy my passion for gaming. Um, you know, not everybody that you meet, um, if they have a passion for gaming, really care if you enjoy it or not. They just are there to make money off of it so which is fine it's their prerogative and it's your money to give you know um, but i'm always i always like it when guys appreciate the fact that i try to do it realistically and that i do enjoy what i do and try to do it with um, with a little bit of grace and try to do it with a little bit of you know uh, try to give that little pizzazz that none of the rest of the guys have you know so i mean that's i don't know man i mean it's pretty, a, a pretty cheesy reason to do it um, but uh, but it's it's my reason I guess so. Uh, Island yes, those will be the the lows actually have a little bit. Now you can add. I think I've got some. If you got accessory mods, you can actually add a little bit on there. Ah, we missed that one. There we go. Well, I try to, Bryce. Uh, I try to make it realistic without making it, uh, like, boring, you know? Because um, I think at some point, like, you can really get to the point where realistic becomes boring. <laughs> so I try not to do boring. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. See, I like that. I didn't mean to do that. Miguel, what's up? JBX? Oh, yes. Yes. Well, he's still in the beta. Supposedly it's supposed to go live tomorrow. Uh, yeah, Jason. I mean, I love mine, man. I mean, I use it uh, all the time, uh, and I do like it, man. I think it's dark out here, man. I 
No, it does, there's a lead zone. No, Chris, they come right with the mod, man. Yep. And I've got JBX in, so it, it does make the it does make this hour of night kind of spooky. Oh, the throw for this, yeah. Now I actually didn't put the FTG stuff in here. I actually just left the rolling stuff in here. Um, but I actually do have um, I have a couple of um, uh, emblems that I need to ask Joel if I can share. I've got the driver's shirt. I've got like um, the FTG like on the emblems there. See where it says Peterbilt. Um, I've got that, and then I've got one on the top, and so I'm going to see if I can if I can make those. Um, I'm going to see if I can if I can uh, maybe do another one and put that on there. I just put it on the throw, put it on the pillow, and then I want to put something um, like I either want to do like this shifter knob, or I want to do one that has the FTG logo on the shifter knob. So yeah, that's uh, I think that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll be good, man. Uh, streaming platform epic. I just use Streamlabs OBS. Hey, thank you there, Kenny. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, it's getting kind of it's getting kind of hairy, man. The guys want me to do a night load, and I don't normally do like night loads. They're a little odd sometimes. Raven, I am not a real truck driver, although I am a wannabe from what I've been told in the uh, comment section. Taking out a lot of drugs. I know I do need some auxiliary lights. At least we got some guys behind us. <clears throat> yeah, I think if you um, if you use uh, what should I call it? If you use flatline lights, there's another one that comes. These really don't. These really don't go too much further. Like it. So it's different. Um, I'd, I'd say the lighting is probably different if you're on the interstate. It looks way different than it does out in the sticks. All right, so it's the last of the crazy stuff, so we'll kind of be back on regular road here in a minute. <laughs> Best poser on the tube. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'll take that comment. I'll I'll uh, I'll throw it in the comments that win the stream, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, man. Oh, best poser on the tube. You know what? I, I, all right, I'll take that, man, because that's exactly what it is, man. <laughs> uh, which part, Olix? Uh, GPU, I'm, I'm, on, I'm still on my 1080 Ti. Um, I'm on my 1080. Yes, those are good to boom. Yeah, the VNL. The VNL is such a good truck, man. It just doesn't get any load. It just doesn't get any love because it's a ball mode. Which is unfortunate. Uh, the rig is a 105 Elix. It's 105. Um, I will have a 3080. And uh, upgraded PC is coming, um, well, maybe in a month. Maybe. I don't know. It depends on when Digital Storm gets done with it. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully they'll be done with it maybe in a month. I should have monitors in probably about the same time frame because no monitors are actually in stock right now if you uh, like actually are trying to buy a decent pair uh, or a decent monitor, especially not three of them. So I'm having to make wait for their first year runs on a lot of these uh, monitors. So unfortunately, I won't be able to even enjoy them for another month, month and a half until they get off back order. Um, so, but yeah, so hopefully... Uh, Hopefully I'll be able to update, get my get my stream update video and all of that stuff out. Um, the next truck, I think they were going to, well, they're not talking uh, for ETS, all oh, the ETS truck. Oh, heck, I don't know what the ETS truck is going to be. I have no idea. The old timer. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing in, man. I mean, you might get lucky and find something like 
a 24 inch or 27 but i'm wanting to do three curved 32s and yeah 32s are basically they don't, they don't exist right now they're all and even the sucky ones now you can get a 4k one but i can't do triple 4ks i mean i don't you know 2090 i mean the 3090 might be able to touch triples they say they can but i don't know how well you know i, I i'm just i'm just not willing to i'm just not i'm not really willing to try it out <laughs> yeah comfort for cool yeah josh that yeah fair enough man fair enough i guess with as with anything right <laughs> as with anything <laughs> i'm a dumb sterling truck i don't know if they'll go after sterling i don't know what they'll do man i mean really Gosh, I mean, they could maybe go after an older Freightliner. I don't think they would, especially not just coming out with this Cascadia. Um, I mean, Lone Star. I don't know what else. I don't know what else they really could add in for trucks. But the blue screen of death. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> No, Roy, I don't, man. Uh, I'm assuming you're talking about your uh, PC windows. Oh, there's tons of smoky and bandit combos. Uh, I, I have I have a hard time I have a hard time getting my own uh, skin skins done. Ooh, a new revolver. Yeah, I like Roy. That'd be good, man. Oh, nice wolf. Yeah, I mean all that stuff, man. The manufacturing is not where it, where it, where it was. You know what I mean? So I kind of threw a bunch of people off for this one. All right, so you guys know how we're talking about uh, how we're talking about different stages of jake brakes so depending on which one that you actually do on here and, and i meant to do this earlier and we got sidetracked on this let me see if i can get down this next hill so there's three different tiles of jake braking have on this one so if you push it all the way up well hang on we're going uphill now hang on i'll show you you'll hear it licensing and copyright I mean that's that's the and they won't even come out with uh, truck tuning packs unless they unless they have that uh, and whether it's classics whether it's any of that stuff they got to they get the the, uh, the copyrights for all that and the licensing so I think that might be some of what you're facing is whether or not these companies most most of the time these companies are not wanting to um, most of the time they are not wanting to feature their old trucks that are not in production anymore so a lot of times you're not going to and that would be with anybody. Unless it's a drawing point to the game, um, they might would, but like I said, most of them are wanting to push out their newer stuff or their most iconic stuff um, within reason. So, who knows? I would love to see SES do a legit cab over. Uh, I would love to see what they actually did with, with something. Um, but then again, I don't know what they would actually choose to do. And they've kind of got one of everything. I'm kind of curious whether or not they would actually go to Mac. You know, because Mac does a ton of... Um, okay, here, here you go. Listen to this, Jake. Break. Let's go down this hill. All right, I'm not, I'm not going to do anything. All right, here you go. Here's the, here's the low... Here's the high Jake break. This is the, this is the hefty one. Here's the middle one. Here how it changes. Here's the light one.
So depending on which, uh, depending on which one, man. Depending on which Jake break you want to run, you got three different ones to choose from. Now that's the uh, that's the strip though, also as well. So it's kind of cool you got different ones in there. Track hour guy from Amazon. Um, oh, we're already here. Um, my suggestion only spin on what you've got, dog. What you've got to mount. Um, that probably has the most. I have the Fanatec one, which is the biggest one. What's up, Timbo? Yeah, those guys were talking about that. I totally missed what they were actually wanting me to do. Uh, Jamie, the easiest way to make a climb a hill harder is to put a smaller engine in it. Uh, don't go for the 1920 horsepower engine. Don't go for the 600. Go for like the 420, 425. Go for, go for something lower. Not, not so low that you can't climb the hill. I'm actually in a 525 instead of the 630. And um, and the 630 is pretty strong. It's pretty powerful. Uh, but this 525 climbs really, 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 really good. So I like that. So that's a good one for the city right there. It's a little bit of slowdown without it being too bad. It's just like it's just barely, barely going. So T. Orman, this is uh, with the N14. I mean, it's all over the title and the thumbnail, but it is the N14 uh, from Z Mods. This will release tomorrow in the Steam Workshop. So this will work for basically any truck on the Steam Workshop. Anything from the 100E to the GTM trucks to all the default trucks to the 389 to the Roland 389 to all of John Ruta stuff. Um, so you can literally have this on pretty much everything that you got. So, so it, it's good, man. So it'll be it'll be available tomorrow. So today's kind of like the pre-release kind of teaser for everybody, um, and then we'll uh, this thing will be ready, hopefully, ready to go in the morning. I'll also have a video on it. Uh, you guys, obviously, I would love for you guys to go watch the video, but you'll have seen everything you're going to see in the video tomorrow. You'll see that tonight. But uh, if you don't mind, go drop a like on it. Go drop a go drop a like on it while you're uh, while you're in and. And hanging around. Let's see. Where 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 did my in the world? Oh. Oh shoot. There ain't no way I'm gonna get this over there. Oh right. We're just oh, look at there. It's magic. Yeah. <laughs> no way I was getting in there, man. Alright. Uh, let's see. Huh. No second. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Hang on just a minute. Huh. Interesting. All right. Uh, I'll use the uh, TH-80. Yeah. So you'd probably have to build a box that is attached to something heavy or weightable. So um, you might would build a box that has a top and two sides that you could clamp the shifter onto. Um, and then you'd have to have the sides of those box mounted to something heavy. And that would maybe be, be like um, a piece of plywood square that's larger that you can actually put a weight in it or on it. That would keep it weighed down. Um, I wouldn't suggest, you know, drilling a hole and fastening it to the floorboard, although that might very well be an option. Um, that would probably be something. Then you could build the box as tall as you wanted the shifter to mount it to the floor. Um, you know, you could mount the top part and the sides. You could mount that wherever you needed to on the square plywood and still give you the weight. Um, and you could either, you know, you might be able to do a shifter extension um, I, I don't necessarily know anything about THA except I know the post on the actual shifter part is pretty is pretty um, thin, and I don't know that there are any extensions widely available that you would be able to get at this point that could give you any more length on that. Um, besides something that would fasten via like a set nut or some type of a clamping device that would that would clamp down on it. But 
I mean, that's kind of – that would probably be the best I'd have for you, at least without being able to mess around and do it myself. Um, you know, I mean, they you know, obviously you got a rig. You've got things that you can use. But essentially you do, you know, the same thing, just a couple pieces of, uh, you know, scrap pieces of plywood and paint them black. You don't even have to be anything fancy. You just need to be able to anchor the shifter where you want it to, and then you can control the height where you want to mount it to, and then just leave it at that. So, um Oh, that's what I know when, you know, wait, you can watch it. You can go back in the morning. I will, uh, I will have another, uh, I'll have another thing going up here and I'm going to figure out two for stream labs. Cause we had a ton of subscribers came in tonight. We had, uh, almost, almost 40 some subscribers that never got any shout out through, um, our alert system on here, which is just blows my mind. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why not. So if you are one of the guys that are still watching that subscribe, thank you. Um, I noticed last time that, that we didn't have anybody subscribe through here, at least didn't give the shout out and the alert. Um, but I'm looking now and we had almost 40 people. So, um, I don't know why that didn't happen. So for you guys that did that, uh, thank you very much. I have no idea why it's not doing your shout outs right now. Um, that sucks. So at any rate, yeah. Well, anyway, yeah, so chat, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so Prince Bear, this is uh, all in the description. This is the uh, the Roland 3D9 mod. Um, so just to kind of close down the stream here, Roland 3D9 mod, I've got all the stuff in there. If you want to check that truck out, it is the $105 truck. Um, it is the uh, the cat's pajamas, so to speak, when it comes to this. It's really, 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 really clean. Uh, really good truck. If it's worth it to you, uh, then it's worth it. If it's not, then it's okay. Uh, nobody's forcing you to do it. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's all good. There's plenty of options for 389s out there. We've got about three or four as it is now, um, ranging in all different types of customizations and all different price points. So, um, one of these days we need to do us a little, a little, like a, just a, what, what all of them have, how they're different and, uh, not necessarily which one's better. Cause that doesn't really serve anybody's purpose, but anyway, uh, old timer. So a couple things, if you guys ever want to do this with these mods, uh, inside of your options, your keys and buttons, uh, right here, engine brake increase and decrease. You have to make this. I make mine plus and minus on the keypad, uh, but you have to assign this just like you do with um, uh, your windows because they don't come naturally assigned from SES. You have to assign those yourself. Um, the mod is um, it's heavier than most. I would say that this mod with the engine with the lighting on the inside because it does have really 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 good chrome textures on this. Uh, material, you know, like really good materials. I would say that this one is probably on the level of what the Freightliner XL used to be from Rudis. Um, I think he's done quite a bit of optimization of that mod to make it a little bit better. Uh, but this one definitely is a little bit heavier just because that interior has a lot of, uh, of custom stuff on it. Custom textures that are uh, usually that are all high res. So you're obviously going to have a little bit of extra on that. And yes, uh, Z Mods is free. Um, and you will be able to find this mod tomorrow. So I'm going to do a quick sound uh, video on this as well, um, just so that uh, people coming in tomorrow that uh, maybe they can check out a little video. Like I said, if you guys see this mod, uh, go ahead and uh, go ahead and and go ahead and um, uh, just drop by that, drop a like on it, uh, let it play in the background if you want to. It's not going to be very long. It's going to be um, fairly short, and then we can uh, we we'll go from there. It'd be great to kind of get it on its start in YouTube land. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, I don't know if he's still in or, or around, but thanks to Jeff for stopping by. I appreciate that, man. Uh, we'll try to drop by your uh, your Twitch streams. I'm not on Twitch as much as I used to be, so I never really I never really see when you're live over there. Except every now and again, I go check out some of the iRacing stuff. So appreciate you stomping in as well. Um, and uh, yeah, 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 Justin, I know, I know. Um, so anyway, you guys are awesome, man. Thank you all for coming in. Uh, oh, nice knowing you know. Yeah, man. Uh, engine turbo set, Nathan, mine's usually somewhere in the 70 to 75%. Um, it changes depending on the sound. Sometimes I'll put the, the truck turbo all the way up. Sometimes I'll pull the, my engine and, and, and exhaust usually stay about the same. Um, but that turbo, it just depends on which mod you're running. Cause they all kind of mix them at their own leisure. So sometimes messing with them, you get some really nice results for messing with the sound stuff there. So, um, Hey, what's up speeder. Good to see you, man. Uh, well, I'm not playing any right now at the time trip, but that was MSFS 2020, so. 
uh, with the Jake break Z mods. Uh, it'll be the N14 is what you'll be looking for tomorrow. So I will uh, put links up here uh, in this video and I'll put them in the next one uh, that's coming up as well uh, for tomorrow morning. So you guys can check that out. So uh, unbeatable. That's definitely in Colorado. Uh, probably going up the um, probably coming back up the hill. There's a couple in the early parts that are pretty good long climbs, but they're not like really steep. Um, they're about as bad as they are in the, the northern parts of Idaho, but anyway, it's good. So, <laughs> you want a wrench? All right, Chris. <laughs> All right, man. I'll keep that in mind, buddy. <laughs> yeah, no problem, MHP. Thank you, guys, man. I will, uh, like I said, I'll be back. Uh, should be back tomorrow. We've got two new trucks this week to show. Um, I think we've, uh, and, and I'll, you'll see, when you see them, you'll see them. Uh, one's an old classic. And the other is something a little new, something different, but something very, very, very meaty. So uh, we'll have both of those this week as well. Um, so it'll be good. So anyway, you guys have a great one. Uh, and then I hopefully will see you guys here in the video tomorrow. Enjoy it. Don't forget, you see that video go live. Just drop by, watch a little bit of it. Make sure you throw a like on that. Uh, comment to it if you want to. That always helps uh, drudge up a little extra youtube points. points. Um, other than that, man, I will see you guys here uh, hopefully tomorrow. So you guys are awesome. Thank you, man. Uh, hey, just hit me up, anybody, if you, you know, want some of that stuff in Discord. Um, it depends on the wheels you have. Uh, my force feedback settings for this wheel are totally different than my Thrustmaster PC. So uh, if you want to know some of those settings, might, you might be able to drop by the Discord, ask that. Some guys can give you some. Um, I, I don't mind sharing them, but it's hard to share Facebook. I mean, uh, it's hard to share force feedback for a Fanatec versus uh, a Thrustmaster G29. They just don't. They don't, you know, they don't actually line up the same. But there are a lot of guys in the Discord that have both of those, and they can share some really good profiles with you as well. So, um, so you guys have a good one, and then I will see you here hopefully uh, tomorrow, guys. We'll see. You. Peace out.